In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Almighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Almighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said to their hearts were astray, These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. Hymn 971. Father, I place into your hands the things I cannot do. Father, I place into your hands the things that I've been through. Father, I place into your hands the way that I should go. For I know I always can trust you. Father, I place into your hands my friends and family. Father, I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be. For I know I always can trust you. Father, we love to see your face. We love to hear your voice. Father, we love to sing your praise and in your name rejoice. Father, we love to walk with you and in your presence rest. For we know we always can trust you. Father, I want to be with you and do the things you do. Father, I want to speak the words that you are speaking to. Father, I want to love the ones that you will draw to you I know that I am one with you. <clears throat> I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, <coughs> uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection.
O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and worthy of praise, and your name is glorified forever. For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly, and do not break your covenant. Do not destroy your word, Scotland, for the sake of Abraham and the Lord, and for the sake of Abraham and the Lord, and for the sake of Isaac your servant, and for the sake of your holy people, to remove your promise, to make their descendants as many as the stars of Abraham, and as the stand on the shore of the city. For we, O Lord, have become fewer than any nation and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. And at this time there is no prince or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you or to find mercy. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight this day, and may we wholly follow you, for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Blessed be the God, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Reach down from heaven and save me, draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will sing a new song to you, O God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. O come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost wine and milk. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. I rise before dawn and call for help. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. Glory be to the Father and to the Son <coughs> and to the Holy Spirit. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, 
from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Increase in us, Lord, your gift of faith, so that the praise we offer you may ever yield its fruit from heaven. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, on God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Let us pray for priests. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We gave thanks to those priests who brought us your word of proof, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time, and for the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid to recognize the joy and given their whole lives and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, be true to your covenant. Forget not the life of the poor ones forever. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Do not ignore the shouts of your enemies. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Once again we gather to be the Church of Christ. Christ is with us as he promised, present in this assembly of his people, in the proclamation of God's word and in the communion of his body and blood. As we do not have a priest to celebrate Mass today, let us reflect on the word and pray together. And then together share Christ's body and blood, consecrated for us as a previous Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and be truly sorry for them. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray in the Spirit that we may grow in the love of God. Almighty and ever-living God, your Spirit make us your children, confident to call you Father. Increase your Spirit within us, and bring us to your promised inheritance. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Here is a saying that you can rely on. To want to be a presiding elder is to want to do a noble work. That is why the president must have an impeccable character. He must not have been married more than once and he must be temperate, discreet and courteous hospitable and a good teacher, not a heavy drinker, not hot-tempered, but kind and peaceable. He must not be a lover of money. He must be a man who manages his own family well and brings his children up to obey him and be well behaved. How can any man who does not understand how to manage his own family have responsibility for the Church of God. He should not be a new convert, in case pride might turn his head, and then he might be condemned as the devil was condemned. It is also necessary that people outside the Church should speak well of him, so that he never gets a bad reputation and falls into the devil's trap. In the same way, deacons must be respectable men whose word can be trusted, moderate in the amount of wine they drink and with no squalid greed for money. They must be conscientious believers in the mystery of the faith. They are to be examined first and not admitted to serve as deacons if there is nothing against them. In the same way, the woman must be respectable, not gossips, but sober and quite reliable. Deacons have, must not have been married more than once and must be men who manage their children and families well. Those of them who carry out their duties well as deacons will earn a high standing for themselves and be rewarded with, with great assurance in their work for the faith of Christ Jesus. <coughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
I will walk with blameless heart. I, I will walk, walk with, with blameless, blameless heart. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will, I will walk, walk with, with blameless, blameless heart. heart. I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will walk with blameless heart. The man who slanders his neighbour in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, I will never endure. I will walk with blameless heart. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. I, I will walk, walk with a blameless heart. Let us stand to the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went to a town called Nain, accompanied by his disciples and a great number of people. When he was near the gate of the town, it happened that a dead man was being carried out to be buried, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable number of townspeople were with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. Do not cry, he said. Then he went up and put his hand on the beard, and the bearer stopped, stood still, and he said, Young man, I tell you to get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Everyone was filled with awe and praised God, saying, a great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. And this opinion of him spread throughout Judea and all over the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> when the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. Do not cry, he said. Don't you dare to tell me not to cry. My heart is broken and I have every right to cry. Might the widow of Nairn have really retaliated when Jesus told her not to cry. Her only son had died. She didn't know what so what, that soon her dead son would live again. She would say she had no more tears by this time for joy. The sadness and pain of a bereavement are always in a unique experience, as one newly bereaved woman explained. You know that you are not the only person in the world to have lost someone, but you feel as if you are. The death of a loved one leaves a gaping hole in the hearts of those who are left behind. Yet it need not be a wound that never heals. This is not a case of learning to live without someone, but learning to live with them in a different way. Although no longer physically present, the dead person is no further away than in a thought, a memory, a prayer. It takes time to faith, but death need not be a disaster. Bereavement changes, but not breaks us. The person we know and love can be part of everything we say, think and do, but with a richness we have never imagined. Our personal experience of bereavement can teach us compassion and understanding for others whose hearts are breaking. 
Our loved one can show us how to dry other people's tears and comfort them in their grief. They live again, but through our words and actions, death is not the end. Let us pray. Lord of life, give your eternal life to those who are no longer with us. Soothe our aching hearts. Fill us with hope in the resurrection. Amen. And now we ask our Lady to join her prayers with ours as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of the church and the world. The response is, stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Stay with us, Lord, on our, on our journey. Our suffering <coughs> brings acceptance. Acceptance brings hope. And our hope will not deceive us. For the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is the, fruit, the same Spirit that we pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us, Lord, Lord on, on our, our journey. journey. Help us to realise that our troubles are slight and short-lived. They are as nothing compared with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay, Stay with, with us, Lord, Lord on our journey. journey. Come to the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them to care for their brothers and sisters. Stay, Stay with, with us, Lord, Lord on, on our journey. journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness. May you make us humble of heart. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord, Lord, on our journey. Give us the fullness of your spirit, the spirit of sonship. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay, Stay with, with us, us, Lord, Lord on, on our journey. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what we need to follow faithfully the call of the gospel. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Liz.
as we await the blessed hope that is coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in the course of your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Love each other as signs of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Soul of my Saviour, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. 
blood of my Saviour, bathe me in the tide, wash me with water flowing from thy side. Strength and protection may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee. Guard and defend me from the foam alive. In death's dread moments, make me only thine. Call me, bid me, come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. Let us pray. Lord, may the Eucharist you give us bring us to salvation and keep us faithful to the light of your truth. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service is ended. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for coming this morning.